Look into my eye. <laughs> hey crew, welcome back to another Spray Castle tutorial. All right, so yes, that's actually done with spray paint. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a little more realistic uh, looking eye. Now I do have a tutorial online called I See You, which I thought was pretty, uh, pretty witty, pretty funny, but a lot of people didn't seem to catch it. So I see you, you know, I see, okay, never mind. Um, I've noticed that there's been a few people that are creating an eye in this manner. In the manner that you make a solid color, right? And then they get uh, perhaps maybe a quick burst of black. Sometimes not even that, guys. Sometimes they start off with the black, you know, something like that. And then they, they put a, a cap around it and that's it. That's their eye. Uh, I've seen some people that start the other way around. Let me show you. I've seen people that do this little number too. You create your little spot where the eye is going to go. You put a cap on top of it, just like that. And then they use a different color. Let's go with blue this time. They'll use a color like this. Oh, well, for the sake of argument, you guys get what I'm trying to get to. All right, and something like that. I know I'm running a little low on spray paints. It's blasphemous around this part. And then they go ahead and they put their cap on top, right? And then they do a little bit of white, perhaps. Oh, I'm out of white. There we go. Now, guys, this is just for example. This is a beginner level eye, right? So I just thought I'd clarify some things and this is how they do it. You remove that, you remove this little cap and you have your instant eyeball. And then they go ahead and they do whatever it is that they do. Usually with a magazine sheet, go around and create some texture around the eye, right? So you know what? Let's try it. I'm gonna do this with a little bit of orange. I'm doing this guys because I want to show you guys that yeah this is a, a way of doing it but there's if you want to advance only if you want to advance if you want to get stuck on beginner that's fine too but if you want to advance there's other techniques All right so you create your eye now you would wait until this is nice and dry but for all purposes you blend your colors together And you have an eye. Then you begin creating your space painting around it or whatever it is that you're creating. That's okay. That's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Gonna, another thing I've seen them do, or I've seen people do, is they get a little bit of white. Add it, right? That creates their, their eye, eye reflection. Okay, well, It works. It definitely works. But if you want to step it up a notch, guys, let me show you how to do it. You guys remember the liquify technique? The liquify technique is very awesome. It's very simple to do. And I will show you here. Let's make one. I'm going to do blue. Now, this requires a little more time. You guys have to actually spend a little more time creating this this eye, the iris of this eye. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of white on top of that. Maybe even a little bit of black. Not a whole lot. So in other words, liquify technique, guys, is very much like, like the same, well, it's the same technique that you use to create realistic looking water. Now here, I'm just gonna go through Create some. You see those lines? See how it's scratching? That's because look how I have my, my magazine sheet. It's folded on one end. And remember, guys, I've always told you that's a big no no. You don't want to fold it, you want to keep it round. Round will not give you any scratching on your on your textures whenever you're creating your textures. Okay? So alright, let's just 
This is going to be the iris. Like I said, there is a tutorial out there that I made called I See You Go. Take a look at it. I show you the same techniques that I'm doing here, but but uh, this is just a, a nice little refresher. Okay, so there I've, I've created an iris for all purposes. Now with a little bit of black right in the center. Okay, now I'm going to put a cap on top of that. Right, you're going to try and get that little right there. Now, guys, I keep in mind, I already had a sunflower here that I did. I don't know if you guys remember this, this canvas. This is the canvas that I used in one of my tutorials called One on One. And this is where I actually take a little bit of time, walk you through some of the techniques that I use, and explain them to you pretty thoroughly. Okay, see, that, that used to be a sunflower, but I thought for what I'm doing here with you guys, this will give you a good explanation. So basically, it's this, but with white around it already. Now, you want to do the quick burst because the difference between this eye and that eye, you see how this one is perfectly round, where this one, you can see a little transition as the iris opens up. Well, if you take a closer look at the human eye, it actually has this. There's, It's not just a perfect round circle. It is when you're stepping back, probably about here, but when you get closer to it, ultimately, there's a little darker side to it. I mean, it, it looks like it's actually fading in because it opens and contrasts, right? Okay, so that's the way to create a better looking iris. What I did is the same technique, guys. What I did here See that white spot? All it takes is a little bit of white. Oh, I keep grabbing the wrong white. A little bit of white. Practice before you do this. Smack down. Okay, basically I did that. I, I aimed wrong. It came out way wrong. This cap is probably dirty, but um, that's what I did there, guys. I just gave it a quick spray. Bam. Right here. You don't, you don't want to do what I just did. Is it correctable? Definitely. There we go. See? Now, you guys saw how I created this eye right here? A little orange. Uh, perhaps a little bit of yellow. We already have some orange there. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow and a little bit of orange right there. Uh, those were rust -oleum, guys. Okay. Uh, you can no longer find my favorite brand is Walmart Color Place. You can never, you can never find yellow and orange there. But it's okay. Um, rust -oleum works just as good. No, this is not part of the entire technique of how to create an eye, but it gives you the gesture, right? I mean, this is just a quick refresher tutorial. See that, guys? Manipulating the paint. As you get into more advanced tutorials, I will show you how to create something like that. A little more realistic. Uh, that didn't take very long to do either. It was very quick brushes. I did it right before I started this video so that I could have something to show you guys. How to create the uh, eyelashes. Okay. This is the time where I tell you, oh, foam brush. Yes, the foam brush. You can actually use the sea sponge and it'll give you a good effect. Don't get me wrong, but I personally like the effect of the uh, sea sponge to create effects like that. So I will create a quick one here. This is good for stuff like this. 
right? Not trees. It's good for trees if you're beginner level. Then it's easy for you to create a tree real quick and, you know, be able to get more comfortable creating trees. But if you want to expand out of that, sea sponge. Okay. Like that. that to the bottom as well. And as you get better with this guys you'll become faster. Yes, much much faster. You'll be able to do this when you're spray painting live. Create. Alright, well I hope you guys have enjoyed today's quick semi life tutorial from yours truly. Spray Casso. I probably got paint on my face, huh? Yeah. Just, All right, crew. So until next time, I hope you guys keep those cans shaking. I have many more tutorials coming your way, so stay tuned. You guys take care. Keep those cans shaking, guys. <laughs>